the Stephen from Osborne's here, back with another quick build summary for my latest build, the Phoenix. Uh, this build is made possible thanks to our HyperX, Asus and Cooler Master. Uh, for this build, I really wanted to, to make something very eye-catching and a bit of a head-turner. Uh, my only guidelines from HyperX was to actually create something red and black, and um, after a bit of brainstorming, I came up with the, uh, the Phoenix uh, the Phoenix uh, design and uh, build ideas to be a, a real kind of head turner and um, really eye catching and something a bit different that we don't normally see with, with PCs. Um, for those of you that are familiar with the actual case as well, it's a Coolmaster Master Case 5. Uh, looks a tiny bit different to the original, the original one, which I'll bring a picture of up in a second, but you'll notice that it's actually got a complete 9 degree orientation from the way that the uh, motherboard's normally positioned within the case and um, the other kind of two big changes internal to the structure would be the actual power supply now being mounted at the top left and also the um, uh, 360 millimeter radiator mount at the bottom uh, flowing straight through out the back. Uh, going over into um, some of the actual mods um, inside and outside the case that have done in more detail. And starting from the bottom we've got all the, uh, all the charcoal which is, is obviously um, quite iconic of the Phoenix rising from the actual ashes itself. Uh, taking pride and point in the centre, we've got the HyperX Savage 240GB SSD, uh, which came up amazing. Uh, and behind that, we've got a 360mm 5th power uh, radiator uh, with three Coolmaster Jetflow red LED uh, fans on that, and a, a custom uh, Perspex hand painted uh, cover for that one as well. Uh, moving to the actual left hand side of the case, we've got uh, where the power supply is and the actual pump as well is located. Um, we've got this really nice um, custom cover I've made this with the actual phoenix uh, symbols there rising from the actual flames, or rising from the ashes effectively as well. Uh, on the left the logos as well, obviously Osmod myself, uh, HyperX and Coolmaster and Asus, thank you very much for your support for this build as well. Um, onto the actual front and, and the outside of the case, you notice we've got a, a very nice Phoenix. Um, I, oh, well, at least I think it's very nice anyway. And uh, behind him directly is a, a custom uh, reservoir mount. Um, and for this one we're actually using uh, the cords is uh, Mayhem's Aurora uh, to give it that actual uh, rising effect from the, from the bottom of the reservoir, which um, hopefully you guys should be able to see at a few different uh, shows coming up. Um, moving on to some of the actual hardware for this, uh, the motherboard would put a Maximus 8 Extreme uh, motherboard. Uh, CPU wise, we're running a uh, Intel Core i5 6600 CPU. Um, and just below CPU as well, we've got some HyperX Savage DDR4 and uh, 16 gig of that as well going on. Um, for all the cable extensions, uh, they were Mod Guru cable extensions. They were originally actually black. Um, and I actually painted these ones to really tie in with the, with the theme quite nicely, so I'm, I'm very happy with how, how they're coming out as well. Uh, all the water cooling gear for this build is um, completely bits power throughout. Uh, bits power blocks on GPU, CPU, bits power rads, resers, tubes, fittings, everything bits power. Um, those who know who've seen my other builds, I'm, I'm a huge bits power fan. The, the quality that they make for that is, is um, all, all the fittings is, is outstanding. Uh, moving on to the actual side here, we've also got the uh, HyperX Cloud 2 headset um, and, and a nice headset stand which I, I did a bit of modification to, a bit of painting and, and obviously the Phoenix rising up there as well. Uh, for the actual headset itself, the mods I've done for this one is a bit, a bit of paint work on the actual framework as well, well as the fire symbols to tie in with the Phoenix theme. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the uh, HyperX Cloud 2 headset, uh, in Australia, it retails just over the $100 uh, retail price point. And um, for those of you who have actually used the uh, Cloud 2 headset, it's actually very comfortable and um, also has 7.1 um, surround sound, which is um, yeah, pretty pretty awesome. I think for its price point, it's one of, one of your better headsets out there uh, for gaming, that's for sure. Anyway guys, um, that's pretty much comes off the majority of the actual build itself. Um, thanks for, for watching the video and uh, stay tuned, I've got some mega builds coming up soon. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually uh, participating in uh, the M-Wave uh, Mod Wars 2016 competition where um, it's a, a basically a mod off with uh, five of um, Australia's top models. Um, so I'm very excited about that and uh, I'll be doing a, a, a battlefield themed build for this one which is going to be huge. Uh, so uh, check out on the Facebook page, you can, um, you can see all the, all the forums going on, so all the links are all, all on the page. Um, but yeah, and until next time guys, happy modding.